I like the weapon to a jar ministry. I'm Pastor Daryl Tall, a pastor of Jar Ministry, also founder of Jar Ministry. You know, I'm excited about what God is doing our day and time. Mighty fight. This is a ministry of illumination, which means that God is enlightening our minds to understand. The Bible says, "My people perish because of lack of knowledge." Revelation chapter one. It says the revelation of Jesus Christ. Who is this revelation of? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Which God, I mean his Father, which God gave it to him. The Father. Who would say gave? Which God gave it to him. To show unto the service things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent it signifying it by his angel. And to his servant John. Who bear a record of the word of God. Which is Jesus. And the testimony of Jesus Christ. And of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the word of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written for. Time is what? At hand. Amen. As we move into the last days. I'm going to end with this. As we move into the last days, Jesus is on the right hand side of the Father, waiting for the Father to bring an end to all evil. Mm -hmm. Even the disciples, they said, Jesus said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Yeah. The kingdom has come in part, but not in all fullness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When Jesus on earth, the kingdom was here on earth, but it was not in all fullness. When Jesus at that time, the Bible said, when Michael stands up, when they say he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. You know what I'm saying? When he does that right there, and the Bible says at that time, when Christ should come with 10,000 times 10,000 angels, and at that time the trump should blow. Because you gotta understand something. When there was a, a we just had good illustration. The Pope just exchanged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Jesse Chain. Look at the big celebration they had at the exchanging of the gods. One Pope. Moving and the other taking over. The same way Jesus is going to be us in the Bible days when a new king came in, they would put him on a horse and a trumpet would blow and it would sound. And all the people would gather together and give praise and worship to this king as he's ushered in to his rulership. Matter of fact, when Joseph got ready to be second in command, they told Joseph, put him on a horse, put him in my horse, and parade him around. In front of everybody. Well, guess what? You got to usher the new king in. But the Bible says Jesus Christ being the new king, trumpets is going to sound. Amen, somebody. They're going to give a blast. They're going to be shouting and singing. Why? Because they escort the new king in. Jesus take the rule of this earth. The yeah. devil no longer has, so he's going to be escorted. Yeah. And the Bible said at that time, every knee Jesus is going to bow. And everybody's going to confess that Jesus Christ, he is the Lord. The word Lord means he is the new ruler. That's right. He is the ruler. I'm not the ruler. You're not the ruler. The devil not the ruler. Jesus, the Son of God, has his own scepter in his hand, has his own kingdom. He will rule this earth. Amen. And the Bible says we should reign with him. Amen. That's why there's power in the name of Jesus. That every man fit. That's why the devil's got a trouble. Because they understand it was in heaven. They already know this stuff. We don't know this stuff. Because nobody teaches us this stuff. But they already knew. It. Amen. Amen. That's why when the disciples say something, the people may stay there. But when Jesus spoke,